What's up astronomers? Welcome back to another Simplified Astrophysics video. This is that video where I'm going to show you how I made my very own radio telescope in under $15. Let's run the intro. So before we get started, just a quick disclaimer that this telescope is very simple. You won't be reporting exact locations of celestial objects, but you will get a better understanding and appreciation of radio astronomy. So I base my construction in part off of some directions I found online. I'll link those in the description. So the first thing you need is a satellite dish with an LNB. The LNB is what receives the waves and processes them. You don't want to spend too much on the satellite dish. A great way to get a satellite dish for free is to ask local satellite dish installers for one to spare, or like I did, post an ad on Craigslist. The next thing you need is about three to four feet of coaxial cable. Your satellite dish might come with enough coaxial cable attached. The actual length doesn't as matter as much as the connectors. You want to make sure you have at least three to four connectors on your cables. You're also going to need a satellite signal meter for detection. You can find one of these online for about $5. I'll put a link in the description for the one I found online. You're also going to need a power source of about 10 to 15 volts. I recommend using a battery pack of 10 AA batteries. You can find a battery pack holder online as well. I'll put that link in the description too. A few other materials you're going to need that you might just have around lying at your home are a wire stripper or pliers and electrical tape which is optional but recommended. Now that you have all your materials, it's time to start building. Plug in a coaxial cable into the LNB of your satellite dish. The LNB usually has a built-in cable you can plug it into. Now take the other end of that cable and plug it into the end of the satellite signal meter labeled LNB. Now you're gonna to wanna to pull out another cable and plug it into the end of the satellite signal meter labeled receiver. And then take the other, take the other end of that cable and using a wire stripper, Strip it into some flaky copper stuff and a metal core. Using electric tape, connect the flaky copper stuff to the negative terminal of the battery pack and the metal core to the positive terminal. If you don't have electrical tape, like me, then you're gonna need to tie those wires together. You do this by making a loop out of the battery terminal wires and sticking the respective strip parts of the coaxial cable into those loops. Once you have everything connected, you have your radio telescope. It's time to observe. Set the decibels on your signal meter between three and four. Then take your telescope and start spinning it around. Here, you can see me spinning around my telescope. See if you notice any changes in pitch. What you want to keep your ear out for is any changes in pitch. This signals you might have detected something or that some interference has occurred. A good way to do this is to monitor the signal meter for the changes. Here you can see mine fluctuate a bit. So that's it. You now have your simplified radio telescope. Hopefully this simple, inexpensive model radio telescope gives you an appreciation of the concept of radio astronomy.